Darren, you've got your striker. Uh, just give me your thoughts on signing Alfie Pavey. Really pleased, really pleased. Um, he's one that we we have monitored over over the off season and, and pre season and that. Didn't think originally we had a chance of getting him, but um, we we've managed to get him. I'm really pleased. I know he had a, a, a very short loan period here five six years ago as a young boy when he uh, was starting out. I think it was his first loan period. Um, but since then he's he's grown. He's he's gained experience. He's gone out and got goals. He's played lots of games. And what I'm really pleased uh, about in getting him. Um, I'm hoping to see a, a, a goal from a cross, a bullet header, um, which is one of his fortes, which, uh, you know, it's another it's another attribute that we can have as a team. Um, I like his work ethic, obviously playing for a Andy Hess and Tyler team. Um, Hess is known for getting his teams fit and organised, so he'll be in good condition. He's a, he's a real presence for us. Um, which is something I've been after. And like I say, he's, he's, a, he's a good size, he's a good age. He was really keen to come and join uh, and be a part of our team. He was very complimentary of how we play and was very keen on being a part of it. So I'm thrilled to bits that I've got someone that will give us that different dimension up front and, and add to what we have up there. And uh, just how important was it to get the right man in, not make a rush decision to get someone who has the right character for your squad and adds something different to the team? Yeah, I mean, listen, I'm not going to lie, it's taken longer than I'd have hoped. I, I, I tried my hardest to get it done in, in pre-season and even the off-season we, we tried to get a number nine in and, and we've had to be patient. Um, but I'm pleased that, again, patience has paid off. I've got someone that is 23 years old who's still got plenty of growth and plenty of development in his game. And he'll fit in nicely with the with the group we've got here. We've got, if you think about a lot of the boys that are re-signing and, and committing themselves to the club, they're all of a, a good age. So the future's looking bright. I'm just really pleased because he's, like I say, the, the biggest, one of the biggest factors for me that when we spoke, he was, he was very, very keen to come and be a part of our team. So really pleased to have him on board. And do you think the signing can, although it's going to be a boost on the field in terms of your options, can it boost the whole club going forward? Well, listen, it's been well spoke about, isn't it, everybody? I mean, I'm probably guilty of talking about it a lot, which has led to a lot of debate about it and, and questions. But, you know, we've, we've finally got someone in to wear our number nine shirt. Um, I hope for his sake he obviously hits the ground running and, and gets an early goal and, and settles in quickly because the sooner he settles in, the, the, the sooner he'll start enjoying playing here. I um, hope the fans get right behind him and make him feel welcome. And, you know, he can he can bring us something different. I mean, I've got good attacking options, boys that I believe in already, but having Alf, Alfie on board as well is, is, a, is a real plus for us. And now on to the game tomorrow with all the shots. Just what kind of challenge are you expecting from them? Yeah, well, they, they won a very difficult game at the weekend. Uh, up at Stockport it's not easy going there they're a good side Stockport obviously started the season well so for them to go there and win shows that they're a decent side um, all games are tough we know that you know Saturday was very tough some teams as, as I constantly state come here and get after us some choose to sit behind the ball and, and counter attack and, but you know we managed to find a way of winning the game on Saturday and that's and that's what's good about what we're doing at the minute. Um, but all the shots going to be a, a very different test. You know, they're, they're a decent side, handle the ball well. Um, they're in good form. They're confident like we are. So I anticipate a difficult but enjoyable game and, and obviously we're going to do our utmost to, to keep this little run going and make it three in a row. And uh, obviously you mentioned there's a big chance to go have three in a row and if we win, we can go as high as four. Just how much of a motivation is that for your side going to tomorrow? Oh, it's, it's, it's nice to be at that end of the table, isn't it? You know, we've had a positive start to the season, um, which, which we're all pleased enough about. Always want more, always, always want more. I want everyone to want more. I want the players to be hungry for more as well. So the... 
opportunity to jump a few places again tomorrow with a with a victory is is what we're aiming for and you know but obviously long season we know that but one game at a time and and what tomorrow will give us is an opportunity to go in the top four or five and if we can win the game and perform well are you expecting us to have to be patient again tomorrow a bit like the maidenhead game where away teams can come and look for a point or play on the counter are you expecting that kind of game or something a bit different no I, I, I don't see them attacking the game in the same way that Maidenhead did Maidenhead did should I say um, I feel that Maidenhead wanted to sit deep and then play balls up to Cassidy and then try and get join in with him and get in touch and, and obviously look at danger from set pieces I don't I don't quite see all the shots sitting deep um, they're confident I would expect them to come out and try and impose their attacking style on us. It's something we we we're prepared for that we've got to be mindful of. But you know we're we're in we're in good form and we're confident as well at the minute. So I expect us to handle the ball well, move it around with confidence, and and be dangerous in the final third. Um, I know I, I know from the mood in the camp this morning that the boys are looking forward to the game. And how's the squad looking going into the game? Do any knocks pick up Saturday or? No, unfortunately, I've got nothing to report. <laughs> Everyone came through the game all right and and made it through, and it's 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 very rare I get to say that. But no, listen, they they come through it. Um, they're all fit and well, or the ones that were available at the weekend. Um, we got one or two getting closer. Sweeney's trained again today. Um, Elliot Johnson and Harry Taylor. Um, we'll train on Thursday. Mauro trained today as well. Uh, Bukhard will be back training on Thursday. Just trying to not getting it in the right order, but thinking about it all. Uh, Dave Tatonda is maybe a week away. Sparksy trained today. So we're getting bodies back. So the competition will grow and, and, and be healthy, but that's what I want. And obviously, um, Harry's signed a new deal with the club uh, just how pleased you to have him on an extension that's oh, great he deserves it as well he's been incredible great great lad good as gold he's been brilliant since since I've taken over him and his brother you know both warrant their new contracts because they've both been brilliant but you know credit to Harry I'm well pleased that he's committed to the club because he's been terrific I've had to move him around positions never once give me a problem just got on and done his best for the badge and that's all you can ask so really pleased that he signed and just uh, lastly it's our last home game for a little while until we play Sonny Hold depending on the cup draw uh, just how keen you to leave the fans in good spirits with another home win yeah it's it's really important you know we you know, I like the atmosphere when we win it was it was nice and positive it was nice to see a few faces in the bar afterwards you know people pleased with the result and pleased with the performance and you know, I want people to be happy and in, enjoy watching their team and, and that's what winning football matches does. So let's hope we can roll out the numbers tomorrow night and the lads can put on a performance and if we win again, everyone goes home happy again.